Hi there. Let me ask you something. Have you ever loved a video game? Now, I'm not asking if you liked it, or if you played it a lot, or if you were addicted to it. No, I'm asking if you loved it. If you thought about it when you were gone away from your computer and look forward to coming home and continuing the adventure. That's how I felt and still feel about this little game here. This is Pool of Radiance. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, a game I played, oh, I might have been seven, eight, nine years old. But I'll never forget the, the impact that this game had. It made me from an ordinary boy into a lifelong gamer. I still can't hold this box without having goosebumps. Just love this game so much. I'm betting you have some games that you feel the same way about. Maybe it's The Bard's Tale. Another one of my favorites growing up. Uh, one of the first games from Interplay. One of the first hits, real big hits for Electronic Arts. Helped put the company, these companies on the map. Notice that distinctive shape of this box. They wanted the people who designed the games and developed it to feel just like rock stars. Because that's what they were. Now this one. Planescape Torment. Some people don't even consider this to be a game. They think it's a little bit demeaning to it. They call it a game. They say this is a work of philosophy. A work of art. Right up there with any of the great works of literature. Any of the great films. A game that could change your life. I happen to agree. Because it changed mine. King's Quest. Quest for the Crown, a graphical adventure game. You know, adventure games aren't so popular anymore. You see, these are games for a different era. A time when game designers didn't treat gamers like small children, didn't hold their hands, didn't do their thinking for them, demanded that players be as smart as they were. Games that challenged you. Ah, Elite. You know, you might not have heard of this because it was more common in Europe than the United States. Great shame. Great shame, because it's one of the greatest games of all time. Definitely in my top five list. Another game that defines me as a person. Space Simulation. And the title says it all. So you might be asking yourself by this point, who the hell is this long-haired, bearded, hippie freak? Well... I am Dr. Matt Barton, a video game historian. I've written books about the video games industry. As you can see here, there's dungeons and desktops, vintage games, vintage games consoles, and honoring the code. However, I'm probably better known for this YouTube channel. I've interviewed here on Matt Chat over 50 game design and development professionals. Everybody from the people who do the code to the people who design the quests and the stories and write the uh, dialogue to the artists to the musicians. If you're some part of the games industry I would like to chat with you. Or if you're just a gamer uh, like me who likes the these games and wants to know about the stories behind their development design and reception then welcome to my channel.